Hey everybody, I'm Connor with Core SWX, and on today's Core Minute, we'll be talking about how to juggle all of your packs with hot swaps. So people, today we're talking hot swaps, or shark fins as they're often called in the industry. Core has developed two types of hot swaps in two mounts. We offer a standard form factor unit, the GPTS, as well as the GPTA, both of which work very well with standard video production equipment, for example, the Blackmagic Mini Ursa. Each hot swap has a power tap that's highly versatile. You can use these to vastly extend operating time for your on-camera lights or monitors, whatever you need. Recently, we released our SFF, or Short Form Factor Series, which fits the profile of a cinema camera better. For example, the RED DSMC2 or the Mini Alexa. Plus, they allow for more P-taps. There are many misnomers when it comes to hot swaps. These shark fin plates require at least one pack to operate your camera. Whereas a true hot swap, like our Evo here, possesses an internal backup battery. The Evo allows you to swap out a mounted pack without shutting down your camera. So what's inside this guy? It's not just two plates wired in parallel without any technology. Inside all of our hot swaps is a microprocessor and sophisticated protection circuitry. But why all this technology? Well, our hot swaps only allow current to pass in one direction, from the pack to the device or camera. What this means is neither battery pack mounted will charge off one another, which is a natural phenomenon that occurs when two packs are put in parallel without any circuitry, or in this case, diodes. That kind of balancing while also drawing can be detrimental to your precious power source. So there are a few different ways we see fit utilizing and implementing our hot swap mounts. The first way is when you start shooting for the day, Place the first battery on one side of the mount plate and begin drawing power. Then, after a period of 10 minutes, place the second pack on the other side. Now as both packs deplete equally through the controlled circuitry, you allow yourself a 10 minute buffer to swap out pack A while pack B is still operating the camera. The second way, and this is to answer a question we get asked a lot, is to use two separate capacity packs. And this is perfectly fine to do. Keep in mind, however, both packs should have similar load handling capabilities. The third way to implement the hot swap is to place both packs on at the same time. Again, with the understanding that the packs will deplete at the same rate. When it's time to switch the packs, you'll need to exchange one at a time prior to full depletion. On heavier loads, we recommend exchanging batteries with 10% charge remaining. So when the pack taking on the full load is solo, it still has enough power to drive the rig. Then, after that is swapped out, swap in your second pack. Lastly, keep in mind that the hot swap or shark fin plate monitors the voltage of both of your packs. While the packs are in operation, based on battery physics, you will get an average voltage between the two. If one pack is fully depleted, the hot swap's internal circuitry will shut down that side of the mount, and then you'll be running off of one pack. I hope this was helpful in getting a better understanding of our hot swap mounts, how they work, and the ways that you should implement them. Thanks for watching. I'm Connor with Core SWX, and I look forward to seeing you next time on our Core Minute.